Welcome to ChristianForCo.uk, Get Going Guides. Uh, this episode we're going to be looking at making graphic text on your web page using Freeway software. And what we have is, we're going to centre this page. Um, if you're using HTML text with tables or CSS, you draw a box, you put it in, you click inside, and you're limited to the number of fonts uh, that you can use, which is a bit poor from a design point of view. So what we can do is we can use uh, text uh, in a graphic format. In other packages like Dreamweaver or in hand coding, you have to go into a program like Photoshop, create the text in there, save it as a GIF or a JPEG, and then import the file as a picture file onto your web page and position it there. In Freeway, we can do it all in the package. And we use this draw graphic element box um, on the page. So what we do is just draw a box uh, for the text that we want and we're going to, just going to type in a piece of text here and I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to choose the font. Now all my fonts become available for me to use. So I'm going to uh, choose a font uh, use Rockwell Extra Bold and I'm going to make the size 96 pixels and I'm just going to make the box a little bit wider uh, for me there. And I can highlight the text and I can choose a color uh, for it to be. So you can go to other color where you can choose any color you like. And I'm going to choose a nice orange uh, for that. And I've got text here. Now when I click on the box, it gives me uh, an item, so I'm going to call this Chris Linford, uh, and so that will be the title of this graphic uh, that it makes. And if I click on the next tab, it tells me I can give it a background color and I can put borders around things and effects. We'll look at those at a later date. And here it tells me what kind of file format uh, do I want it to be. So I can choose the file format here. So generally, because it's a flat color, it would choose it to be uh, a, a GIF file, which is restricted. Uh, and I can then choose the colors I want. So I'm going to choose the Web216, uh, which means it's going to be chosen from the nearest color to what I've chosen, uh, which is a standard color built into the web browser, so it will perform faster. If I want lots of effects on it, then I could choose Adaptive. You can go to my uh, Get Going Guides. Uh, and in the text sections there is some information on different uh, file formats and color spaces and what that means uh, to your um, rendering on a browser. So one nice thing that Freeway does is I've given it a file name uh, here and what it does is it puts in alt text for you uh, into your browser. Alt text is a meta tag uh, which means it's your picture is now searchable uh, on the internet. It also means it conforms to disability guidelines so that when people who for blind people for example using browsers they can't see this picture but the browser will read the alt text to them so it will say the same thing uh, as the text. So what we want to do now is to preview this in the browser to see what it looks like. So we're going to Firefox and there it is. So we've got this uh, centered in the middle of the browser window and you can tell it's a picture straight away because I can move it off the page and I can copy it down. With, if it was an HTML text, I would highlight it and it can be any font I like. Now it's very easy to edit this if I got this text and I'm going to select it all and I don't like that font, I can just move up and I'm going to choose uh, another uh, font from here. So I'm going to choose Optima Bold which is a different font, uh, has a different effect. And again, I can change all the features of it if I want. Uh, and it keeps all the other information. And then when I preview it again, it will redraw that graphic for me and now show it to me in that text. If I want to do that in Dreamweaver or in HTML, I'd need to go back into Photoshop, change the font, and then re-import the picture uh, for me. Also, if I wanted to add uh, a bit more text, 
I can easily add it and I can change the size of that so I make that there I'll put it to the right just going to align that there Ooh, a bit too far and I want a different colour for that so, go to other, so I can choose my own colour I'll choose that and I'm going to make the lead in 70% which means the text moves up uh, at that point so I've now got a piece of text added to it uh, so I need to go into Photoshop and I can now preview that in the browser as well and there we have it and it instantly changes for you same if I don't like the picture uh, file format that I'm working in so it's a GIF I then want it to be a JPEG I, it will then give me the JPEG options and then when I preview it it will then show it to me as a JPEG file rather than uh, a GIF file so I can instantly change my mind uh, all the time whenever I like and uh, make additions add more things uh, to text and I can use any font I like while it. Disadvantage is that it isn't highlightable uh, and if you're using a lot of text you don't want to keep in a picture format because uh, search engines can't read your uh, picture files but it can read your HTML and CSS text. So visit me on www.chrislinfordco.uk or you can find me on iTunes and on YouTube.